Hey everybody, it's me, Jessica, your health fitness program manager from Miter McLean. And I'm gonna lead you through an awesome total body Tabata workout today. If you happen to have some weights at home, I would recommend grabbing your light to medium weights. If you don't have any weights at home and you have some cans or some bottles of water, awesome. And if you have none of the above and you just don't feel like using any sort of weights, we're not gonna use them in every round anyway. Thanks for coming. Make sure you have some water for yourself. Clear some space. Put on some of your favorite music. And we are going to get started in just about four minutes at 4.30. Thanks for coming today, guys. together all day, so why wouldn't you have just asked? That's right. Mom life. Am I right? Great, one minute till we start a nice little warm up. And then I'll show you guys one move at a time for today's workout. Okay, it's 4.30, you guys. Thank you all so much for coming to check out a Tabata HIT workout today. Starting with a nice, gentle little warm-up. I want you to go ahead, ground your feet into the floor, 
about hip or maybe even shoulders with distance apart. Really press equally through all four corners of the feet as you start to draw that lower belly in. Relax your shoulders away from your ears and we're just going to start off with a little bang in the drum. Really think about keeping that abdominal core in tight. So drawing in that lower belly button area, starting to feel a little pull of your skin there as it comes in. And just rotating your shoulders, one to the front and one to the back, still keeping those feet ground down on the floor. Just starting to wake up our bodies, getting up out of our chairs at the end of the day or close to the end of the day at least. Well, if you're watching this live, maybe it could be any time of the day. We're still just waking up our bodies. All right, go ahead, keep those feet planted on the floor. Come on back to just standing. Let's go ahead and just cross our arms in front of our bodies. This time focusing on pulling your pinky fingers back towards each other, creating a squeeze of those shoulder blades together as much as feels good for you for three, two, one, let's go ahead and make some arm circles. You can rotate your torso as much as you want to for these arm circles. You might need to just depending on how tight your body feels. What's happening with that abdominal core? Are you still pulling in that lower belly area? Two more times and then change direction of those arm circles. If you want, you can do them both at the same time. I find a better range of motion just doing one at a time. But you gotta do whatever feels fun, what feels right for you for three, two, one. Go ahead, inhale those arms up overhead. Stretch up to the ceiling, exhale. Bring those arms down by your side. Two more times, inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, rain arms down by your side. One more time, inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, rain arms down by your side. Step your feet up just a little bit wider. Inhale, those arms up overhead. Pull your belly in. Exhale, send your hips back behind you. Come down for a little good afternoon. Nice flat back. Inhale, lift. Keeping that chin neutral towards your chest. You can take a slight bend of your knees if you need to. Still equally pressing all four corners of your feet into the floor. Hips go back biceps close by your ears. Let's do two more. And then we'll stay down here on this next one. Come on down with a nice flat back. And then exhale, relax your hands down towards the floor. Start to bring the weight forward. So instead of your hips stretching towards the back of the room, they're stacking on top of your heels. Keep that left hip down. Send your right arm up towards the ceiling. Just find a nice little stretch. And change, relax and release that right side down. Send your left hand up. Find some space, pulling your shoulders away from your ears. Pull that belly in once more. Take a deep inhale. On your exhale, relax and release your left hand down. Go ahead, bend your knees into a supported spot and lift them back up. Five more. Bend those knees, lift, exhale down, inhale up. Exhale down, keep the weight in your heels. Inhale up, two more. Exhale down, inhale up, last one. Exhale down, go ahead, bring your hands towards those thighs. Once more, drop that right shoulder down, pull that left shoulder back, find some space of your shoulders away from your ears. Shift the weight back towards your heels. Don't let it creep into your toes. And then change, left shoulder forward, right shoulder back. One more big breath right here. Then chest down, simply round your chin towards your chest. Roll yourself all the way up. Roll those shoulders down and back. Take any extra shimmy shakes you want and either come into whew, a nice lateral side to side step tap, maybe into a boxer shuffle. And I'm gonna show you guys what's going on for move number one. Okay, move number one is uh, one of the exercises that you have an option today to use your weight with. We're gonna do right side, we're gonna stick with it four times, and then we're gonna do the left side four times. Okay, so we're going for a squat with an overhead thrust and a kick. But each time you kick, I encourage you to change the direction of your kick. 
Doesn't matter how high you're kicking, just staying in control and making sure that you're not allowing momentum to do the, all the work that you're using your muscles. So if you have weights, starting with your hands by your shoulders, keeping the weight in your heels so that your hips go back. As you press yourself up, arms up overhead, kick forward. The next time you squat and lift, kick to the side. The third time, you're just gonna go for a back leg extension. So just forward, side, back, four times on the right, four times on the left. If you find that you don't have weights and you need a little bit of assistance, keep your hands at your waist. That's gonna help you with your balance. Find one spot to focus your eyes. Keep the weight in your heels. We start in three, two, one. Here we go. So squat, kick, squat, lift. Awesome. To the back. Feel free to go at your own pace. Maybe you want to go a little bit faster than me. Maybe you need to go a little bit slower. Take a break. All right. Finding what the move looks like for round one. Perhaps in the next couple rounds, you can get a couple more squats and kicks in. Here we go. Number two, right side still. Every time that you're squatting down, you're bringing that weight into your heel. Make sure you're not holding your breath. I'm using a big exhale to help power these weights up overhead. Take a break and to press myself up from my squat. Two more on this right side. Three, two, one, here we go. Squat and three directions for your kick. Slash leg lift extension. Don't let that weight come to your toe. Focus on it being in your heels. Nice, take a break. One more time through on this side. Three, two, one, go for it. First two moves of the day, we're gonna really stress those shoulders a little bit. Nice work, five more seconds. Last time on this side. You made it. Take a break, quick little 10 second break, shake it out. Next up we got that opposite side. Left side, three, two, one. Might need to work a little bit slower the first time through on your left side as you make sure that you're moving with control. Controlling the weights on the way up and down. Control coming into your squat and kick as well. Take a break. Breathe it out right here. Three, two, one. Maybe you know that you have one minute, not even, of actual squat kicks left. Can you try and squat a little bit lower? Keep that weight in your heels. Keep those knees tracking with your toes. Take a break. So no knees coming out to the side for your squats. If that's you, go a little bit more shallow. Focus on that straight line. Three, two, here we go. Remember, you can always use a couch behind you, which I realized that for today would have meant that you would need to eliminate the back leg lift. But you gotta do what works for you. I forgot about the back leg lift. Take a break. One more. Then we hit the floor for the first of our planks. Three, two, one. Actually, the only of our planks today, well, there's a burpee, so that's kind of a lie. Nice work, keep that belly pulled in nice and tight. Find that leg, three, two, one. You made it. All right, move your weights out of your way. You don't need them for the next move. Grab some water if you want, take a quick little break. Can you keep a little movement going though? Okay, 
While you're chilling, I'm gonna get down on the floor and show you what's coming up for move number two. We've got a rolling plank with a hip dip. So if you need to modify and do this on your knees, you can do the same thing in a check mark on your knees. Otherwise, starting with your forearms down the mat, underneath of your shoulders, stepping your legs out, you're gonna roll to one side, extend your arm up, give yourself a hip dip, and then roll back to the other side, hip lower, and lift each time. So just one side to the other. Now if you need to drop to your knees, oh man, I feel my thighs. If you need to drop to your knees to finish out your 20 seconds, Drop to your knees, do whatever it takes. You're doing the highest intensity that you can do while being smart for your body. So you're looking for that challenge, but it should not hurt. If it hurts, take a modification or ask, ask for one if you don't know. We start in three, two, one. Nice, so rolling, hip dip, and lower. Like there's a string attached to your hip. Pulls up towards the ceiling. Keep that stomach sucked in. Nice work, you guys. First one down. How many rotations side to side were you able to get? Let's see if we can get a little bit more each time we go through. And begin again. But still staying in control here. Once your body knows the move, you've already created a little bit of muscle memory. All right, did you do it? Were you able to get in? One more roll and lift, two down, three, two, one. So if you need to be on your knees, you're still right here on your knees. You can still work to find a little bit of a lift from squeezing that lower glute as you roll from side to side. Just work it to fire up a little bit more, three, two, one. Take your break. Whatever feels good for you on your break. Maybe some cat cow, maybe some child's pose. Three, two, one. Jump back in. Way to go, you guys. Keep breathing. Stay focused. Three, Two, one. I promise if you keep coming every week, twice a week, it's gonna get easier. Three, two, one. Keep it up, you're halfway right now. Recommit to yourself. Three, two, one. Take your break. More than halfway through. Ooh, sweaty, sweaty. Three, two, one. Find that lift with your hip. Use your exhale to press that hip a little higher towards the ceiling. Make sure you're not holding your breath. By length of, take a break, shoulders away from your ears, staying as long as you can today. Three, two, one. Push yourself here at the end, you guys. Coming down to our last round or two. We got one more after this. Three. Two, one, take your break. Last one, best one, pushing yourself here when you're tired. Three, two, last 20 seconds. Then we get to turn over onto our butts. Guess who's more than halfway through? Find that extra lift with your hip right here. Three, two, you made it. Oh my gosh, I am dripping with sweat. 
I hope that you wish yourself there too and that you're feeling like a nice sweaty Benny or Bob. Hmm. Okay, stay down here on the floor. Feel free to roll those shoulders out. Find the stretch that works for you. Shake some sweat off my glasses. Didn't work out very well. I'm gonna show you the next move. Next up, we're doing lemon curls. Uh, lemon curls or knee tucks or V-ups. Totally your choice. Okay, so for a lemon curl, one of my favorite challenging but slightly easier um, moves is starting with your arms down by your side, bringing yourself up into boat pose, pulling those knees in, and simply lowering yourself down. If you wanna go for a knee tuck, if you have a little bit more space, bringing those arms up overhead, get a little bit more abdominal work, do the same thing. Tuck those knees in towards your chest, and then extend yourself out. If you wanna work even harder from this knee tuck, with those arms up overhead, lifting up into a V, and lowering yourself down. We gotta do whatever you have space for today, so I'm gonna stick with these lemon curls. Feel free to mix it up. If you have more room at home, we start in three, two, one, so belly nice and tight. Think about lifting that chest sternum up towards the ceiling, but that doesn't mean stretching your chin up towards the ceiling. Chin stays neutral towards your chest. Everything lifts up at the same time. If you're finding, oh my gosh, I cannot lift both of my legs up at the same time, you, for the next couple rounds, can think about just lifting one leg up towards your chest at a time as a great modification. Begin again. So maybe you're gonna lift the same leg up towards your chest for the whole round, or maybe you're gonna switch it up. This is a great way to really practice some Control also having your arms start in front of you means that you don't get to use the momentum Take a break of swinging those arms up overhead to help you get into those abs If you did the one side, let's switch to the other begin again Really work to drive that knee Towards your chest. So as you lift up eyes come forward towards your toes not up towards the ceiling Making sure that you're lowering down. Take a break with that same control that you're lifting. Good work. Three, two, one. Back in. Maybe you're doing both legs and you find, oh my gosh, I cannot. Switch to one leg at a time. Maybe alternating which leg that you lift up. Use that breath though. Find a way to keep moving through this. Take a break. Halfway, just over a minute to go. Three, two, one. If you wanna work even harder, don't let those heels touch the floor. Even if you're just doing one leg, allowing that heel to hover over the floor as you lift yourself up. Three, two, one. Instead of taking that break and allowing your heel to touch down. Just an option, even if you're doing a modification to make that modification as challenging as you can. And begin. Just because it's a modification doesn't mean that it's easy. It just means that it's smart for you. Working with what you got, be that, take a break, physical or spatial. Oh, almost there, three, two, one. Oh, I'm so glad we get to roll over onto our bellies and work our backs next to relax these abs. Take a break. Ooh, I'm finding this challenging. Who else is finding this move to be a hard one? Three, 
two, begin again. Last time through. Challenge yourself, even if that means alternating between single leg, trying to throw a double leg in there if you can. Surprise yourself, you made it. Oh, oh my gosh, you made it, you guys. Take some breaths, take a break down here, maybe take a little banana pose if you have the space, just getting that nice stretch into those obliques a little as well. Oh, okay. Let me grab a quick sip and then I'll show you what we're gonna do for our Superman's next. Superman's with cactus arm. We're kind of like a swimming Superman. So we're gonna roll over onto our bellies. Onto our bellies. You're gonna start with your arms stretched out in front of you. As you lift yourself up, you're just gonna draw those elbows back towards your hips, squeeze your shoulder blades together. And as you lower yourself down, stretch your arms forward. Keep those eyes facing down towards the floor. Don't look forward ahead of you where your fingers are reaching. That's gonna bring an extra crunch into your neck and we wanna have a nice flat neck. Work on pulling your shoulders away from your ears in three. All right, wait, before we start, I want you to really make sure that you're pressing your pubic mound down to the floor and your, your kneecaps are engaged. So before we even start each move, as I count down to three, Two, one, press the tops of your feet into the floor. Let your kneecaps engage. Really glue your pubic mound down so that you'll be prepared to just get right into it, as opposed to starting to lift up and not being engaged and feeling a little bit more of a struggle. So always making sure that your muscles are engaged, you're prepared before you get started. And now we can begin, press the tops of the feet into the floor, kneecaps lift up, thighs engage, two, one, here we go. So squeeze and lift. Everything lifts up at the same time, but I stay down towards the floor. They can look a couple of inches in front of you. It's not like you need to stare down, give yourself double, triple uncomfortable chins if that doesn't feel good. Pull those elbows together, find that lift and take a break. Maybe even relaxing your lower back, windshield wiping your feet during each of your breaks. Three, two, one. Good, keep those toes pointed. If you want, you can even bring your feet together. Sometimes the thought of tighter is lighter. Sometimes it just feels easier with your feet separated. Take a break. Oh, feeling that in my shoulders and back. Breathe it out, three, two, one. Now, if this uh, extra little squeeze of the cactus arms is not working for you, you can always just keep those arms in front of you and lift and lower, or even make that little pillow with your head to lift and lower. Take a break, just to keep it a little bit easier. If you find that you're stopping, find how you can modify. Three, two, one. And if you had trouble figuring out the modification today and you didn't want to get up off of your mat from doing the move, know that you can reach out to us afterwards. Happy to give you a suggestion so the next time these things come around, you are as prepared as possible. Three, two, one. Take a break. Breathe it out nice and slow. Slow down that exhale. Three, two, one, squeeze those elbows towards your hips. As you exhale to find that extra lift. If you need another modification, you can always keep the tops of your feet on the floor and just focus on the lifting your upper body. Three, two, take a break. It's normal to feel tired here as we get close to the end though. You've got one full minute of work left to go. Three. Two, here we go. 20 seconds at a time. X 
exhale to lift and inhale to stretch forward. Take your time. You can slow down your breath, slow down the movement. Maybe find a little extra lift. Two, take a break. Three, two, one. How much can you extend those fingers in front of you? Find that extra reach, a little extra activation in that upper back shoulders. Three, two, one. Take your break. Oh my gosh. Last one, three, two, one, here we go. Reach through your fingers, squeeze your glutes, lift those heels, squeeze your elbows towards your hips. Five seconds left, four, three, two, you made it. Ugh. Let's all take a moment. After you windshield wipe those legs, we're gonna stretch our hips back towards our heels. Child's pose. Open your knees nice and wide, bring those toes together, send your hips towards your heels. Feel free to get as generous of a stretch on your shoulders as you want here. So either arms active and forward, maybe even fingers tempting to help you press your glutes towards your heels and find a little extra stretch in that lower back or feel free to bend those elbows. Slow your breath down. Let's take five breaths right here. All right, go ahead, press yourself up. Tuck those toes under. We're gonna stand up. Walking your hands to your feet or your feet to your hands. Take your time. Use that breath. Roll yourself up. Three moves left, you guys. Next up, we've got single leg burpees. And then we get to get back down to the floor. So don't worry. Floor is, floor is coming back to support us again soon. Okay, so for your single leg burpee, this is your workout. So I want you to push yourself as hard as you possibly can. I do encourage you to come down with a single leg. So maybe instead, maybe you're going for less intensity today, maybe you're going for a single leg inchworm and then walking yourself out into a plank. Up to you if maybe you drop down to one knee, give yourself some sort of a push up. You can either walk your hands back, step or jump forward and back, whatever it looks like for you today. You're doing your best. We don't do a lot of single leg burpees together. Ooh, dizzy, dizzy there for a second. We don't do a lot of single leg burpees together, so maybe every round looks a little bit different. Maybe you start off with an inchworm. Maybe you bring a push up into the second round. Maybe you bring a hop into the third round and do the best that you can for the fourth. And then we'll do the same thing on the opposite side. So try to remember what you do on the right so you can do the same thing on the left. But also keep in mind that your right and your left side aren't exactly the same. So do the best that you can with whatever it is that you're working with today. However you come into your single leg burpee, I'm going to start at the top of my mat, see if I can do some jump backs here. We start in three, two, one. So stepping up, getting those hands down. Ooh, step or jump back. I'm going to give myself a single knee push up the best that I can. It's gonna take me a couple hops to get back to the top, but that's okay. Trying to stay balanced on that one leg. You gotta start somewhere, and I'm starting today. Take a break. All right, I barely got through one round of burpee. How about you? So this time I'm gonna try and get through two, one, here we go. I'm starting right here from the floor. Two down, you guys. 
two down. Today's workout is tomorrow's warm up. Three, two, one. Remember, you can give yourself that inchworm. Take it a little bit easier if you don't want to. Do the hop back. Ugh, take a break. We got one more on this side. Wow, challenge yourself to see that change, you guys. Three, two, here we go. Last one on this side. Push yourself right now. Find your inner beast. Don't give up, you're almost there. Three, two, one, way to go. All right. Ooh, switching over to the other side. I'm gonna start standing. Three, two, one, begin. Remember, you can always start at the back of your mat and inchworm your way down. This is our first one on this side, so it might be a little bit slower. Finding that balance, doing the best you can with the body you have today. Take a break. Ooh. Not my best, but that's okay. I'm gonna try again this next round. Three, two, one. All you can do is try. I mean, it was my best, but I, it wasn't something I was proud of. I'm sure we all know that feeling. If you wanna do something and it's hard when you start, man, and you are just not an expert. Three, two, one, take a break. Two more, you guys. Three, two, one. Ugh. Halfway. Three, two, one. Oh my God, we got one more. One more, you guys. Let's make it our best. Three, two, here we go. Halfway. Three, two, one. Yay! Oh, those were good. Those were good. Gonna feel those tomorrow or the next day. Grab some water again. Let's work our butts. Back to the back side. We're gonna do some glute bridges. We're gonna do four different types of glute bridges. Well, let me show you. Starting off, we're gonna get some hamstring focused glute bridges. So with your knees bent, you're just gonna walk your heels a little closer towards the end of the mat. And keep your arms pressed down on the mat. This is not a big lift for your hamstring glute bridge. So think about that spot right behind uh, the end of your sternum still staying down on the mat, not lifting up onto our shoulders. Just really focus on lifting those glutes up off of the floor. We're gonna do that twice. Then we're gonna walk those legs in. And from there, you can have your arms relaxed down. You can challenge yourself more with your arms up to the sky. We're just gonna draw one knee in towards our chest and then the other, keeping those hips up nice and high. For the third round, we're gonna press up onto our toes, just dropping those heels down and lifting our heels up. And then for the very last ones, we're gonna do one each of a single leg glute bridge on the right and then the left. All right, so starting off with those Hamstring glute bridges, walk your heels a little bit further away. Draw that belly in, belly button back towards your spine. Make your chin neutral towards the chest, back of the neck is flat on the mat. Relax your arms down by your side, open your chest, find some support. Keep that area behind your chest, sternum, bra strap on the floor. We start in three, two, one. So a little lift and lower. Lift and lower, just squeezing those glutes 
Digging those heels into the floor, continuing to keep that belly pulled in. Use your breath to exhale, find your lift and squeeze. Inhale, find your lower. So your pace is gonna be dependent on how, take a break, fast your breath is. I'm gonna keep a nice, consistent breath, but if you wanna work a little faster and exhale faster, lift up faster, three, two, you're welcome to. But still focus on keeping that middle back on the mat. Or slowing it down as slow as you need to go. Take a break. All right, walk those heels in a little bit closer. Next up, we're gonna stay lifted and just march that knee a little closer to your nose. Two, one, here we go. So remember, you can keep your arms down by your side to help assist you in balance from wobbling here. Or if you wanna work a little bit harder, stretch those arms up towards the ceiling. You'll have to engage your core a little bit more to stabilize and stay lifted. Give it a try. Take a break. Worst case scenario is you relax your arms down by your side. We got one more time just like that for you to do the best you can with your body today. Three, two, here we go. So this time we are lifted a little bit more up towards our shoulders, but not a lot of pressure on the back of the neck. Shoulder blades are still really pressed into the mat. Use your exhale to draw that knee closer towards your chest. Take a break. All right, next step, we're gonna press up onto the balls of our feet. Stay nice and high with your hips, but heels come down. Lift yourself up. If this is a real struggle for you, you can always drop one heel at a time and just alternate through your heels. I want you to really focus on pressing those big toes down. Don't roll towards the outsides of your feet. For me, this one is my most challenging glute bridge. Take a break. You might see my leg shaking and trembling. If yours are too and they're shaking and trembling uncontrollably, lower down for just a second and then come back in. Two, one, here we go. Hips up nice and high. Feel free to use those arms, really pressing the back of the forearms for some stability and to really help you engage those shoulders a little bit more. Squeeze your glutes, lift your heels. Press those big toes down. Lower yourself down. Next up, we got a single leg glute bridge. Send that right leg up towards the ceiling. Sole the foot up towards the ceiling if you can. And begin. If you need to, you can always take a bend in your knee. We only got one round of this single leg glute bridge right here. Using your breath, exhale to lift up. Take a break, right leg down, send your left leg up towards the ceiling. Three, two, one, here we go. Powerful exhale. Bring the sole of your feet together. Allow your knees to come out heavy towards the side. All right, we've got five minutes left and we wanna do some sort of a cool down, but I have one more move that we were gonna work on for today. So we're just gonna do four rounds of that move instead of eight, because we're worth it, you guys. And then we'll do a little bit of a cool down and then we can be on our way. Okay, another opportunity to use your weights. Last time to work into our obliques here. For this one, starting with your hands, palms at your chest. You're gonna step back into a lunge, extend your arms in front of you, and turn towards the leg that you have forward. And we're just gonna alternate, actually. We'll alternate each time. Make sure that we're nice and even. Just over a minute of work to go, you guys. Three, two, one. Here we go. So you're stepping back, coming into your lunge or modified lunge, rotating right there. 
bringing everything back in, stepping back. If you want, you can extend your arms at the same time that you step back, make it a little bit more challenging. Keeping those hands in line with your heart. Nice, take a break. One minute left. Four, three, two, one. So stepping back into your lunge and then option to extend, twist, bring it back in. If you don't want to go for as deep of a lunge, that's okay. You can just go for a step back. If you're taking the lunge, make sure that the weight is in your front heel, back ball of the foot. Keep those shoulders. Take a break. Pull down away from your ears. Three, two, one. Find as much rotation in your core as you can using that breath as well, using your exhale. Weight in your front heel, back, ball of the foot. Don't let it creep into your front toe. Three, two, one. Nice work, you guys. One more. And then we will stretch it out. Three, two, one. This one's not about speed. Take your time here. Find your lunge and then find your twist. Pull that belly in nice and tight. Pull those shoulders down away from your ears. You made it. Awesome. Go ahead, get rid of your weights. Feel free to grab water one more time. Start to just take some rolls of your shoulder. Nice little lateral side to side step tap. Slowing down your breath. Go ahead, change direction of those shoulder rolls. Nice work. Go ahead, separate your feet about match width distance apart, maybe a little bit wider. Either heels invisible behind your toes or pigeon toe your feet. We're gonna go ahead and interlace our fingers behind our back and pull your hands, pinky fingers up towards the sky. Get rid of that overarch in your back. Tuck your pelvis under. Nice flat back. A little more weight in your toes and hinge forward as much as feels comfortable for you today. No pressure to come all the way down towards the floor. However, if that feels good for you, go for it. If you need to take a slight bend in your knees here, that's okay. The more that you really stretch your hips up towards the ceiling and bring that weight towards your toes, the more you're going to feel that big stretch on the back of your legs for three, two. Stay here carefully. Release your fingers from each other and relax your hands back down to the floor underneath of your chest. Coming back into the stretch, focusing on the back of our legs. Let's just go ahead, bend one knee and then the other. Shift the weight in your heels. Find that nice stretch between your thighs. All right, let's pick a side, whichever side you want and just hang out there. I want you to send your hips back towards your heels. Make sure that the weight's not coming forward towards your toe. So ideally your knee is stacked up somewhere around the middle of your ankle. Press the edge of your straightened leg into the floor. And change, walk yourself to the other side. Breathe it out, pressing now the opposite straight leg foot into the floor. A little more weight in your heels. Pull those shoulders away from your ears. Find that lifted leg and then come on back towards the center. Bring your left hand down just like we started. Send that right arm up towards the ceiling. A little deeper stretch this time. Bend your right elbow and reach your right hand fingertips towards that left hip crease. Take two breaths right here as you pull your shoulders away from your ears. And then change right hand up towards the ceiling, right hand to the floor, left arm up towards the ceiling, find that length, shoulders away from ears, back engaged and bend your elbow, reach towards your right hip crease. Draw your left elbow back a little bit more, find that space once again, shoulders from ears, take two breaths. And change, send your left hand up towards the ceiling, left hand down towards the floor, take that generous bend of your knees. Take a moment right here in your squat, Malasana. Do the best that you can 
to get those heels towards the floor. You might need to walk those heels a little closer towards each other. Pull those shoulders away from your ears. Nice big stretch on those hips. Three, two, one. Hands down on the floor, send your hips up. Heel toe your feet in close to each other and then slowly, gently roll yourself up. One vertebrae at a time. Relax and release those shoulders away from your ears. And that's it, you guys. That's all the time that we have for today. If you need to do some extra stretches, find whatever feels good for your body. I am so glad you came. I hope you had an awesome workout, and I'll see you later this week.